Hello and welcome, it's Chili Cube and I'm pouring over a little glass vase or you could use this as anything. You could put a tea light in it when it's finished or a candle, candle holder. Um, I probably wouldn't drink with it if you put the, res uh, the paint right up to the top but lots of little uses and especially good for a Christmas gift. And I'm using these Montmartre pouring acrylic paints. I got those from the online store listed below, Capriol Shabby Chic. It came in these particular colours, this one. I might add a few other colours, but I'll mention them as I'm going along. So what is next to do is um, I've, put a, I've put a canvas down so I don't um waste any paint any runoff from the vase will go onto the canvas the the glass will go onto there like that so when it's it's dry tomorrow morning it will be dry enough for me to just touch my fingers squeeze the cup and take it off so it just comes off very easy when i want to move this to paint on my canvas or use the paint that's run off then I'll be able to do that easily too. So what I might do first of all is um, clean my glass. So I will um, pop that there. Actually what I'll do first is I'll load the colours. I'll load the colours that I'm going to use into this little cup and I'm going to do a little ring pour over the top. So right here, this isn't one in this particular kit which was called Rainforest. So it's supposed to be rainforesty colours. Um, is the gold. I absolutely love this gold used in different acrylic pours. It is a really lovely highly metallic-y gold. So I love it. And I'm going to go the dark green I'm going to just pour that down the side and then I'll go to the coral. Oops, oops a days, oops a days. Oh, it is pouring with rain here in Australia today. So it's a perfect day to get in the art room and paint. And I'm going to add a little bit of the black, lamp black it is called so I don't want to add too much of the black because I do not want it to overtake and then I'll go to the light aquamarine light aquamarine I probably shouldn't need too much paint in this particular for that small uh, glass tea light or vase whatever you want to use it for shouldn't use too much paint but like I said any that runs off onto the canvas I will reuse so it's not a problem make sure I get some more gold in there add a little bit more black oh yeah probably shouldn't use too much more than that but you've got to remember what you put on the bottom will be the last thing that comes out so <laughs> there's me looking at these colors thinking oh that black and gold and the is nice together but it's going to actually be the last colors that come out so I'll just pop those aside for a minute go back to my aqua aqua no that's not the aqua that's the coral I'm losing it, losing it, losing it. Rightio, so I've set my little pouring cup up. I can move these away now so I don't knock them over, which is my normal trick. Now, the this is just a biodegradable cup, so these can be washed and reused or you can leave the paint to dry in them scrape it off there instead of keep throwing away your plastic cups again i got them online the link is down below um, and my glass jar i am going to spray with some isoprol 
it just gets it'll just get all the fingerprints off it so I'll just spray it and then wipe it with a lint free cloth so it's just like getting the grease off your fingers and any grease that might be on it now I would not after these are painted and dry you can gloss varnish them to seal the paint on them and a lovely finish is resin so there's lots of choices but I would not use them to um, put them in the dishwasher for sure. I'm gonna place that on there. Actually, I should put my gloves on before I touch the glass again. So as you don't uh, transfer the grease off your skin onto the, um, ooh, onto the glass. Had a horrible feeling then I hadn't even turned my <laughs> camera on. Rightio, there, there's the cup. So I'll just pop the glass on top of that. Keep it nice and um, even. So that's ready to be poured on. Okay, we'll do a simple, simple little um, ring pour. So it will go like this. Oh, that green actually looks very nice with the black and gold. The green, black and gold would be deliciosa. Actually, I'm going to let that, even though it doesn't look as though it's covered, it, oh, look at those colours. Because this, this paint is, it's pre-made paint, meaning I didn't have to make it and put all the, ingredients in it so you use it straight from the bottle and it's quite thick and I don't add any pouring medium or anything to it so perfect I find for glass pouring because as you see now it's going really slow and it's going to cover that glass it will cover that glass it just take its time but that is gorgeous around this side's beautiful too thinking that I definitely need to leave that for a second but I'm just thinking of something to oh, just get obviously this is going to be the bottom I just want to <laughs> that looks nice on its own I just wanted to get some of the thickness of the paint from that bit on the bottom and it's helping uh, allow the paint to come down so that looks pretty cool so I wonder if you actually blow a bloom in there the bloom will come down should I try that should I just put a bit of the oh, maybe I should leave that for the next one I was thinking of just putting a bit of the boom boom booster which is a, um, does give good cells can't find it now but I'm just wondering if that'll work I must try it mustn't I to blow the bloom effect down because that's actually very pretty the way that's coming down and it's covering now it's covered the whole of the glass so I might move this off very, very carefully to the side so I can work on this little canvas. And then I've just got to let it dry. So, oops, a daze. I'm gonna just leave it there to just let that paint run down. Actually like that bit there. Okay, let's do this with this one. Let's do the ring pour on this to match the bars. So it's just um, slightly twizzling your hand round and round in circles, I guess. The green has definitely vanished in that vase, but the green, black and gold did look super duper. So I might have to give that a go again another time. Oh, 
Oh, there's the green. Actually, that, there it is. You've got to be mindful of how you lay out your um, pouring cup. So remembering what goes in first is what's going to come out last. There you go. Now, just to give my canvas a gentle tilt. So this is really something anyone can do. You can do it uh, with your friends, you can do it with your children, because even these particular um, pre-made pouring paints, whichever one you can get hold of, will, um, you haven't really got to think about even making up your acrylic pour paints. So. And these particular ones dry really um, quite um, shiny, you know, with a really nice effect on them. All oh, that green, black and gold is gorgeous. I've got to get myself another little vase to, or a jar to pour on. It's very nice. I'll try and make it go down to that corner. I'm going to use a bit of this here. Just finger pop it there wow that's gorgeous that's it wow look at that that is very very nice now I'm just going to re try and recenter the paint so it's all not sitting down at one end which it's very slow because it's very thick, but that is absolutely gorgeous, really lovely. Nice little painting. So when it's dry, you give a varnish coat or a resin. Great for a gift for Chrissy. What do you think? Perfect, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, let's give this a little bit of heat, which helps um, burst any air bubbles in there. Oh, that's so nice. That will really pop with some varnish or resin on it. Very nice. Rightio, I'm going to leave those to dry and I will be back to show you the finished results. So very happy with both of those. So I hope you like that little, um, yeah, very easy one to do if you're a beginner because everything was pre-made and it's just pouring. Taking your time, don't stress over it. Uh, I will show you um, the end results. Thank you.